How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we're going to be re we are going to be doing the career simulation for Bryce Harper. You guys have been asking for him for a, a little bit, so I figured I'd bring him to you guys. I know you've been also asking for a pitcher like Chris Paddock, Casey Mize. There's been a couple other names that have been thrown out there. I will definitely bring you a pitcher this weekend, 100%. So we'll do a, a pitcher career sim this weekend. So if you guys want to see some more career sims, let me know in the comment section down below which player you would like to see. Hit the like button as well if you enjoyed the video and if you're new to the channel and you enjoy baseball content hit that subscribe button so let's hop into it let's get into this video i just said the same thing twice in the next like within five seconds <laughs> so we're gonna get into it i said it again and we're gonna look at bryce harper's stats i believe he's a 90 overall in this roster the roster that i'm using is the most recent one from the user so when you go to roster vault search under the username Riding rosters that's writing without the g and then rosters right after it. it's the most recent one it has all the draft picks that just happened in the mlb draft and all the most recent roster moves so with that being said here is bryce harper's stats he's a 90 overall he's 26 years old obviously he has this massive contract so i think that's going to be the majority of this sim is going to be at the phillies and when we look at his stats you know really good power versus righties Okay, power versus lefties, decent contact stats, and uh, overall, not too bad of attributes across the board. When we look at his statistics for his career so far, he's sitting just under 200 home runs, just under 1,000 hits, um, just over 500 RBIs, and a career 280 hitter. So we'll have to wait and see how uh, the rest of his career pans out. Just change teams. Let's see how he can finish it up here. Um, maybe he sits... Like, see how long or see how he does for the his contract with the Phillies. So, let's get into it. We're going to see how season one plays out. Um, we obviously let the CPU handle everything. So, uh, yeah, let's just see how things go. Season one, Phillies made the postseason as a wild card team. So, let's go see what Bryce Harper put up numbers-wise. Um, best slugging and best on-base percentage. Uh, OPS, not on-base percentage, OPS. So, let's go see if he won any awards. MVP. So let's go to and the Hank Aaron Award. All right. So let's go see what his stats were for this MVP season. So he's up to a 93. Um, he's gone up quite a bit in a lot of the stats, but let's look at his actual season stats: 305 average, 41 home runs, and 120 RBIs. Almost 100 walks as well. Um, 123 strikeouts, 182 hits. Pretty solid season. This is definitely a good season for Bryce Harper, especially hitting above. 300 you definitely want to see that from you know a superstar right fielder struggled at the start of this season in real life so if you could put up numbers like this i bet philly fans would be really happy um with that kind of output throughout the season so let's hop into it you guys saw season one let's hop into these playoffs let's take a look and see how they do against the brewers in the wild card they win they're taking on the dodgers now and they get eliminated so let's go take a look really quick at Harper's postseason. Oh, oh man. Ooh. 91 average. Yikes. Oh, that's that's not a good postseason at all. I can see why the Phillies struggled a little bit against the Dodgers. I mean they won two games, but when when the player that you, you're gonna lean on um doesn't perform, you're definitely gonna have some trouble. So that's season one. We'll see how five seasons from now when Bryce Harper is, what, 31? We'll see what he's done, you know, throughout those five seasons unless he starts winning more MVPs and the Phillies start pushing for World Series and stuff like that. Then we'll stop. But for now, I mean, not a bad first season. An MVP in season one? Let's continue it. Season two, another MVP for Harper and another Hank Aaron Award as well. So we're just going to quickly go over their stats. He's up to a 97. Let's look at it. Let's see how he's doing. So 48 homers, 33 doubles, more hits than last season, more RBIs, more walks, more strikeouts too, but even more stolen bases, almost double what he had the previous year. Better average, better on base percentage, slugging and OPS. Just crazy, crazy numbers. You can see his home run totals almost at 300 already. Pretty solid first two seasons in Philly. So let's quickly take um, a look at the postseason. They made the postseason as the divisional winners. So we'll see how they do against the Cubs. And they're eliminated first round. Let's see if Harper again put up a rough series. Actually a lot better than last year. So they made they made some good steps 
um, or he made some you know progress from what he did last season. So let's continue with this sim. But so far, two seasons, two MVPs. It's a good start. All right, so the start of the fifth year since we uh, for, for the sim, you guys can see Bryce Harper's up to a 95. The previous two seasons, um, last season the Phillies made the playoffs. Nothing much happened. And the year before that, the Phillies did not make the playoffs. No awards or anything for Bryce Harper. But let's take a quick look at his stats. So he's a 95. Some stats have started to go up for sure, especially that contact versus righties. His, his fielding as well has gone up a little bit. But catching up with uh, some of his stats so far. He hasn't had terrible seasons. Just not not as good as these two. So, um, But these two seasons are definitely like MVP caliber. And these two seasons definitely aren't bad. They're really not that bad. But... Um, just not comparable to the, the first two. So let's sim the fifth season, see how things go. And uh, I'll catch you guys once the season's over. All right, so the Phillies made it as a postseason, or they made the postseason as a wildcard team. League leaders, Bryce Harper had the best average, the most hits, and OPS, the best OPS. Let's see, it was another MVP season for him. It was not. He did get a silver slugger, though. Did that just say Dansby Swanson hit 42 home runs? Interesting, interesting indeed. But let's take let's take a look. Bryce Harper's up to a 97, and we'll take a look at his his stats for the season. 38 home runs, 103 RBIs, 324 average, and uh, 91 walks. Okay, definitely not a bad season. Almost 200 hits as well. That's a good year, and 46 doubles. Really okay, really good year, really good year. So looking at his year once he hits you know 30 years old, we're just under 400 home runs. Just over a thousand RBIs, um, just under two thousand hits as well. So what? This is like one more season away in terms of hits. Definitely one season away in terms of for, for four hundred home runs. The RBIs is already over a thousand. I mean, he's over a thousand walks as well. Um, Fifteen hundred uh, strikeouts. So really solid numbers. His average has gone up for his career at twenty points since we've started this as well. So really, really good stats so far for Bryce Harper. Let's see. Postseason's done after the wild card, unfortunately. Let's see how he did in that one game. Didn't get a hit in four at-bats. Unfortunate, but so far through five seasons since he's joined the Phillies, things have gone pretty well. Let's see if he can win maybe a World Series for Philly in the next you know, five seasons to come. Alrighty, so this is season seven, I think. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven with um, the Phillies. The Phillies didn't make the postseason. There were no awards won or anything, but I wanted to show you. This looks like Bryce Harper's best season in terms of like attributes, um, his hitting stats and everything. If he goes up any higher, then I'll show you that. But for now, this is his best like hitting stats and stuff. So I wanted to show you guys those stats so that you guys could actually kind of see where he would be at like his peak overall, his peak attribute like that's basically what I wanted to show you guys. So still having really good seasons. Phillies, though, as a team, haven't been doing that well. Haven't made the postseason the last two teams, two seasons. So we're just going to keep going with this sim. Alrighty, so season 10, we're back. The, since we've talked, I think the Phillies have made one or two playoff appearances since season seven. Maybe just one. I think it's just one. But let's take a look at Bryce Harper's stats. 92 overall. His attributes have dipped a little bit at the age of 35. He's got four years, including this year, left on his contract. So I think I think by then he'll probably retire. But who knows? You guys have seen crazy things have happened where they end up staying in the league till they're like 47 or some some crazy stuff. But 2028, you guys can see, you know, his stats have looked, you know, pretty solid. Uh, last year was really like the first year where they've dipped quite a bit in terms of home runs, RBIs, and stuff like that. But home runs usually around 40. You know, good amount of doubles still. He's hitting close to 40 doubles almost every single year. Good amount of hits as well. He's sitting at just over 2,500 hits, 521 home runs, just shy of 1,500 RBIs. A good amount of walks as well. His walks and RBIs are like right next to each other. It's a race to see which one's going to hit that 1,500 mark first. Um, just under 200 steals. And then his average is sitting at 292 for his career. So not bad at all. Like really solid stats. Um, I'm wondering to see if he's going to hit that 3,000 hit mark, that 600 home run mark. That'd be kind of cool to see. He's also keeping his average up, which is also like really good. So at the age of 35, I definitely expect some of his stats to decrease. 
um, or his attributes, I should say. Um, like I've mentioned, they already are starting to go down. So let's simulate this 10th season, see how it finishes out, see if he starts to dip by a large amount or not. And I'll catch you guys in a sec. So the Phillies made the postseason 92 and 70 and uh, taking on the Brewers. No, no MVPs or anything recently for Bryce Harper, but you guys can see he is decreasing. Um, I think it's what, seven stats since the season started? There's seven overall, um, but some some things have gone down. Contact versus lefties are the big one. Power versus lefties, his vision, his fielding stats are starting to go down as well. But a good season for him, 40 homers, almost 100 RBIs. Um, so that puts him at 561 home runs for the year or for his career. 2600 hits okay 1500 rbis um the average dipped a little bit but on base percentage is still around the same slugging is still pretty high and ops is pretty high as well so overall you know the the, the production is there but the, it's going to start to decrease with the attributes as well so season 10 in the books of the sim um let's see how the rest of his contract plays out with the phillies oh wait no they made the postseason let's let's check it out let's see how it goes um uh, never mind. It was a quick, quick postseason. Alrighty, let's see how the rest of the the sim plays out. Alrighty, so 2031, Bryce Harper has retired. I think the Phillies like released him. I don't because he didn't play this year, and it was, he was a free agent. And last year, he only played 20 games. So, at the age of 39, he has retired. You guys can see where he sits for like. All of his all of his stats at least so he has 587 home runs just short of that 600 mark which is kind of kind of sad to see that he fell 23 short no not even 13 short of the 600 mark rbis he had 1637 hits wise just short of 3000 what 107 207 short of 3000 so realistically if he could have played like five more seasons he probably would have had it um if you, if you go off the last the last season but um, definitely really solid career um and to be honest at six, 67 overall that's actually pretty early compared to what most players have been retiring at for these simulations but really solid career 290 average strikeouts 2300 almost 2400 but you know walks rbis are both very high home run totals high hit total is pretty high as well so i definitely expect him to be a hall of famer and as you guys can see retired the same year as mike trout and what i mean he's a, he's a little shy on most of those mike trout stats but still very very solid career and that's that's where it's going to end guys i hope you guys enjoyed this bryce harper career simulation if you did make sure you hit the like button down below as i said earlier in the video there will 100 percent be a pitcher career sim this weekend you guys have been crazy about it in the comments and i definitely will bring that so you know what We'll put, a, we'll put a little, no, we won't put a poll. Just let me know which picture you guys want to see down below. I know I've seen Paddock. I've seen Soroka. I've seen Casey Mize. So there's been, those have been like the top three that I've seen for pitchers names down below, but I'll definitely bring you guys one of those guys this weekend. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.